here to Bowser High School. We're getting everything all crazy and ready and set and ready to go. Pat Eakin and Mike Jameson, sectional basketball right here. Uh, boys basketball, Rossford taking on Delta. And uh, Pat, what you got, buddy? Hey, that sounded like Karen Carpenter uh, singing the national anthem. I, uh, we couldn't have two uh, more evenly matched teams tonight, Mike. Uh, se at least on paper, 7-14. and 14. Uh, Delta, 8-14 eight, eight, uh, eight and 14 Rossford. Uh, Delta just had one win last year. They returned four players, three letter winners. Rossford comes in without a single player in double figures, but, um, you know, they're ready to go. They just coming off a win to finish the regular season over Woodmore. You saw that game, Mike. Yes, yes. Yeah, we were there. We, we were there for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, you know, Rossford riding high right now, um, playing this last game on Joe Stalmer Court, George Wolf Fieldhouse. Next year we'll probably be returning to Owens Community College for home games for Rossford is the current plan if they stick with it. Uh, unless they find some little gym at one of the little elementaries or something to play in, which would, <laughs> which would make things fun. Um, you know, I wouldn't only mind you, that. Only you, Pat. Yeah, that would be fun. I'd go for that. But, uh, you know, we might see some points scored if we did that. But anyways, <laughs> um, Delta is led by Brady Weimer, a 6'1 junior guard, averaging 10.8 points, 7.7 rebounds, and... Their lead scorer, Bowen Green, a 6'2 senior wing, play the guard forward all over, 14 half points a game. So it'll be interesting to see how this Delta team, which is much improved, Ron Rollo has said that he wants to get this program back to where it once was, and after just getting one win last year, getting seven does that for the Panthers. Um, the Panthers have wins this year over Swanton, they defeated twice, which uh, which also uh, started out in the same dis Division Three district tournament. Uh, they also have wins over Evergreen, Stryker, Liberty Center, North Central, and uh, they had a game, uh, actually three of those games in overtime. They were two and one in games in overtime. Uh, they went over North Central, went to double overtime, 77-74. They beat Patrick Henry, 52 to 49. Patrick Henry, also a program once very proud in basketball, a little bit hitting harder times nowadays. And they lost to Tenora, 50 to 47 in, in overtime. Uh, their game at Monclova Christian was canceled because of weather. Monclova Christian had a decent season this year. They play over 500 against mostly OHSA schools, some smaller schools that are not members. Um, Rossford, on the other hand, um, looking to get its ninth win the season. This is when the loser goes home, led by Peyton Sloan, and he's not. He's averaging 9.8 points a game, and Lucas Warner 5.3 rebounds. Like I said, nobody in double figures. The winner of this game will get to play the winner of Northwood and Genoa, which follows. So that should be interesting. And we'll have what, that game too. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see how Northwood tries to pair up against a Genoa team that is 18 and four. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, that's uh, Northwood with just two wins this year. So, yeah, that's that's a that's an interesting. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> you know I don't know what the Vegas odds are. On upset. <laughs> Probably not too good for uh, Northwood and uh, Coach Allen Drake. Um, they did have two wins though this year, which is better than last year. They beat Emmanuel Christian in the second game of the year, a league full, and. Um, then they turn around and beat Lakota, 63 to 60, uh, next to last game of the season. So it should be interesting to see what Northwood tries to do in that one. Well, we uh, we really appreciate you listening here, folks. And this game's being brought to you by Mike Jamison. <laughs> well, good for Mike. <coughs> Whoa! Promote uh, creative video imagery if you're having a wedding. There you go. And Jamison's You've got your DJ. Music. I hear his uh, his weddings that he DJs are just unbelievable out of this world. I've yet to be invited to one yet so well i i can't invite you to the wedding oh but, come on but I, I, I don't know maybe 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 tell him to tell him to get me in i'm gonna crash the next one i think lane violation on uh rossford there and uh inside well that's a nice move inside oh that's right yeah i don't have any of them either 
Now we both can see things. Uh, Burns inside today. Uh, get it out to the uh, star of that last game, Jagosinski there, and uh, does a nice job. Smith's in, and uh, Perry and Warner fill, filling it out. Sloan's going to take it to the hoop. Misses there. Sam Burns. Uh, or Seth Burns. Sorry about that. Oh, there three you go. pointer. Baseline three by Brady Weimer, and like you said, he's one of the scorers and one of the shooters. I, I would think Coach Borst at Rossford has scouted this team. You don't leave them open on baseline three like that. No, definitely not. And that was open. Smith's taking it to the Wide hole, open. dishing it in to uh, Sloan. He set things back up, slow it down a little bit here. <laughs> I would say at this point, uh, that's his shot right there. He needs to take that shot. Nice. Oh. That's Seth, Seth Burns getting the rebound. Seth Burns, 6'3", junior forward for the Panthers. Looking inside, Seth again. And both teams now starting out shooting lights out here. And, and, and that's the way it normally goes. Term of crowd, decent, uh, decent attendance here by both schools coming into South Toledo, the El Bowser High School. This nice new, fairly new facility now, yep. built with OSFC money about, I don't know, 10, five, 10 years, I don't know, it was quite a few years ago now, but it's still a beautiful gym. Terry Reeves, the athletic director, does everything here, good guy. Perry's taking it to the hole, nothing. Smith brings it back out to Sloan. They're trying to set a pick with Warner there. Jagosinski with a shot. Up, off, Warner, it's bouncing around like a hot potato. Which way is it going to go? Boy, nobody wanted that. <laughs> tipped and tipped would have been like a good tip drill in the NFL yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That ball, that ball so, had a little got titanium to, somebody, in it. Yeah, somebody's got to put two hands on it. Actually, it kind of looked like your golf ball going off into yeah, the woods. Yeah, <laughs> it's bouncing off, off about everything. five trees, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The... Inside again, there's a foul. That's Bowling Green, their top scorer. Taking it in the paint, he'll shoot two. Yeah, you can tell he's the man. He's got he's, that left, he is, right, yeah. nice, nice spin. Yeah, 14 and a half points a game, 6'2", he's a senior. This is, he doesn't want this to be his last game. This is the first, off the back of the iron. Two and a half minutes in this game, Mike. Rossford hasn't scored yet. Nope. Delta puts the second one up. Four nothing right now, and uh, 528 left to go in the first. And we'll have the uh, Genoa Northwood game after this. Smith takes it to the hole inside and is just clobbered. Brady Weimer <coughs> just said, "No, that ain't gonna happen." Yeah. Oh, nice there you basket, go. Sloan. Peyton Sloan. Cuts the score in half. Sloan a 6'2 senior. Four to two, five minutes to go in first. Uh, I don't know if that was a behind him. Dribble back, dribble or not, behind the back. Dribble, it didn't look like he had ever done it before. Oh, uh -oh. Smith, Smith got guys. that one. Nothing there though. Oh boy, Sloan with the, uh, looked like a nice clean block, but uh, they're saying he got a piece of, got a piece of Elliot Schneider, a 6'1 senior guard, and he'll shoot two. Nails the first. Well, there's Terry Reeves bringing in a chair for somebody. Yep. Somebody important's getting a chair. Got a little helper with him. Boy, Delta right back with a rebound. I can't hold on to it. That was Seth Burris, the 6'3 junior forward. Rebound, back up, misses, and then he gets a chance again and knocks it out of bounds, and Rossford takes over. Neither team pressing. Both of them going to half court. Looks like man-to-man -man defense. Straight up basketball. Nothing fancy here. There you go, getting the roll. Is Lucas Warner. 6'6", senior, a big man, and 
There's a nice Hello. steal. And a basket by Cam Hello. Reynolds. And that puts Rossford up six to five. I can't hear you. So, and Rossford yeah, now yeah, putting pressure good, on good. full court. I'll call you when I'm feet. Done. They smell blood. Rossford. And there's another steal. Oh, oh and fouled. Foul. Fouled hard as Ryan Jagodzinski. He is just massacred by. Adele to guard. And, he's massacred, guard and, and he was him. massacred, too. <laughs> it was a massacre. <laughs> 12 people dead. Uh, I don't know how many injured. Oh, but he boy. Was, yeah, he he went was in slammed hard. into the mat. Fortunately, there's a mat there. And make sure we get the score right here. Jack Gazinski shooting two. Puts Rossford. Makes it first. Rossford up 7-5. to five, And all of a sudden, they didn't score for three minutes. And... Now they put up seven minutes and just the last minute, seven points in the last minute, Mike. Well, they, you know what, though? This is this has always been how Rossford has gone short with that second one. Boy, Rossford put on some pressure there. They could have had a quick steal. And I'm going to tell you right now, Delta's really got to get they, – they've made some quick and easy mistakes right now, and they they haven't gotten burn on them yet, but uh, Rossford's going to take advantage well, of I one of these. I noticed most of the schools – Do you see they, all of them, like, coagulating right there? Most of the schools they've beaten are Division Four schools around uh, Fulton and then uh, Buckeye Border Conference, and um, so we'll see how they pair up here. <coughs> Cam Reynolds with the rebound, and uh, there's a three shot by Got Sloan. It. Sloan puts Rossford up 10 to 5. 10 to 5 with three minutes to go, and Delta wants to put a stop to this as Rossford goes on a 10 0 run. Timeout, Delta. Do you ever drive around the neighborhoods just to look at the houses? I like spotting the ones that have been around the longest because they remind me of the amazing legacy I'm part of. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. For over 110 years, our bank has helped families buy and build their homes. And all that time, one thing hasn't changed. At Genoa Bank, we believe that when we put the mortgage needs first, the rest takes care of itself. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Ten five right now, Rossford is on top. And Pat Eakin and Mike Jamison uh, got out of the hospital just to come be with you wonderful people tonight. And, uh, you did. I did. <laughs> We're glad to see you out, Mike. Feeling pretty good. There's a three-point shot. Oh, it was Brady Weimer with the three. Going to be one of the younger ones. A junior. Good ball player, though. I mean, I, here's some, uh, some good things from him. Right. But I just and look at like right now, right now guys just standing around. You notice that? And I'm talking about Bel Delta. Yeah. You got two or three guys here just standing around that uh, well, weren't he, even set up in defense that time. Yeah. Ethan Deweese, a six-four sophomore, takes a three at the top of the key, hits the side of the rim, bounces out of bounds, dead ball rebound for Delta. Another steal. Uh-oh, uh you lose control of the ball. Ross, we're getting the loose ball. is playing good basketball right now. Yeah, that's a yep. blocking foul on Smart move by Green. Reynolds. Yeah, Green can't get the stop on the baseline. He needs to get over. You don't let guys just get the baseline like that. Remember how they always said you put your foot out of bounds? That's what, that's, yeah, that's what, one of the first things you're taught when you yep. play organized basketball is you don't let anybody drive baseline. Bowling Green just allows the baseline drive and he gets called to the blocking foul. Reynolds gets it in. Uh, Perry's got it up at the top. Camps. Uh-oh, oh. he gets it stolen. Oh, that's the second oh. time he's lost it. Well, that has to be something. No one deserves a point on that, Pat. No, <laughs> no I'm one. neither team. What is it? <laughs> this is just getting to be too much here. Yeah. Green gets it. Both teams trying to do too much. It's getting a little bit sloppy. Yeah. At this uh, at this juncture of the, uh, the show, uh, 
Gaston, uh, Gaston's going to slow things down and move it around here yeah, for the Gaston, the freshman, he's had a couple Bulldogs. of turnovers on just losing control of the basketball. But they, they all have, but uh-oh. Oh, yeah. boy. I, I don't know. They're trying to do too much. They're, they're trying to get fancy. They got a lead, and they, they're trying to – they just need to stick the basics and play basketball. Here a little right. Reba McIntyre fancy right there. Three-point shot. Fortunately, Delta can't, can't – All right, Reynolds, to, please score. There you, there go. you go, the old-fashioned way. Cam Reynolds, a 6'4 junior, puts Rossford up 12 to five under a minute to play in the first. <laughs> Offensive foul, Perry on the floor. Yeah, gets Bowling Green as he charges, tries to get in the paint. That's his second foul already in the first quarter. And make sure you say that name right, or you know, so they know it's Bowling Green. Oh, Bowling Green. Let's see, see it's I, Bowling Green. It's Bowen or Bowling. -E no, Bowen it's not. Green. Is yeah, it? I never thought of that. 14 and a half points. Bowling Green. Yeah. He ever did. It's Bowling Green. Gotta no, love not, mom and dad. Not Bowling Green. Yeah, I don't know what they're. Gotta I, love I guess them. so. Well, well, Delta's probably colors gonna play are green. There. You know, yeah. their Panthers are. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, oh, but that was offensive. Yeah, that was pushed off on them. It was offensive and it was offensive too. <laughs> was. We saw that. We saw a push yeah. off. It was a push Very off. offensive. Very Sorry, offensive. folks. I still that have a lot of the. Uh, insult. It was so yeah, yeah. It was insulting. <laughs> still have some of the drugs in me from the hospital. Well, but I do got to you. say, St. Bees was very nice to me. Did a good job. Food was iffy, but uh, Grandma's uh, meatloaf still not sitting right with me, and that was two days ago. Grandma bought you some meatloaf? <laughs> well, that's what St. V said. Oh. I, I did well. Oh, I you, did were, well. you were in a trauma hospital. Uh, I was in the cardiac care unit. They, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Brenya is my uh, cardiac specialist. And I'll tell you what, he went there. It's amazing. Amazing what they can do now. And that's going to about do it for the first quarter of this soccer game because that's kind of what it was. <laughs> uh, up and down the floor. Get the ball a few times. It, it was a little bit of uh, interesting basketball there. We're in sectionals starting them off here with the boys. Delta and Rossford, our first game here at Bowser. 12-5 uh, is our score. We'll be right back. Conveniently located in downtown Rossford, Ohio, the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy is there to serve your estate, business, and litigation needs. Heben, Summer, and Murphy is a proud sponsor of Rossford Athletics. Contact the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy at 419-662-3100 or on the net at www.hsm-law.net. Go Bulldogs! Of course, go ahead. Rossford brings the ball in to start the second quarter, leading 12 to five. Say hi to Robert Robinson, who's out there now. The ultimate uh, golf uh, in, in Fuego. The he's the in Fuego of golf at is that what Cross he is? Wins for yes, the he, he Tuesday will be. Night League. He will be, that's what I hear will happen. Him and Mick Gonzalez are going to take over seventh place. I, I see. I I picked them as champions. The Vegas odds <laughs> are on Robinson and Gonzalez. Yeah. I don't know. You better watch out for me now that I've got my heart fixed. Uh oh. I'm even going to I'm going to uh -oh. hit drives over hey, you're 200 like a, you're yards. Like, you're like a you're like a RoboCop now or something. I am, I am Steve Austin. <laughs> Steve Austin. The six million dollar Mike. <laughs> Sloan gives it back out to Jagosinski. Him and Smith playing a little catch with it. Warner going to flip it around. Sloan's going to drive left in and good. Nice. Peyton Sloan taking it, beating his man, man on man. Man on man all, beating his man right to the rim. Just flies right by him and lays it in. You can Delta, tell. Delta might think about his own defense, and they're just going to let that happen. They're going to have to. Pat, they haven't scored in like no years. 
years. That's right, it's been years. I, they're, they're having a very difficult time fighting the net. Look at Warner, your big man there. All night. Oh, Reynolds! Oh. Cam Reynolds just dominates the Panthers. We got a 16-5 lead now for Rossford. Looking good, and there's a steal by Jack Zisky. Bulldogs looking real good now. <coughs> really on top of the game. Another baseline all night. drive. All night. All night. That and they're scoring uh, again. Uh, 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 Cam Reynolds. Cam's down. Call a timeout is Ron Rouleau as this Panthers are just really struggling as the Rossford Bulldogs shoot out to an 18-5 lead over their foes from the Northwest Ohio Athletic League. Now's the time to join the Northwest Ohio piping industry. If you have a high school diploma or GED, are a high school senior currently enrolled in a vocational program, or have a college degree, sign up now for our apprenticeship program. There's never been a better time to start an exciting career as a welder, pipe fitter, plumber, or HVAC service technician, and earn upwards of $100,000 a year. The deadline to join the piping industry is almost here. Apply today at pipingindustry.com slash TV. 18 fives our score right now. Rossford is on top. 6.08 left to go here in the second period. Mike Jamison along with Pat Eakin. You know, ever since my surgery, I don't know if I can do the Pat Eakin anymore. No, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. I should have challenged you. <laughs> Come on, I've gotten better. I've gotten away from that. I love the Pat Eakin. The Pat Eakin is my best I, voice. You taught me a little bit about how to do this. And no, Pat, you're, you're like wonderful. Mentor, I love you're doing games. You're my mentor and my today. teacher. So every time you do that, you're cutting up yourself. <laughs> no, I love doing games with you. You are so much fun, and uh, and you laugh and you get it. And you Tell it to my wife, would you? <laughs> well, we certainly don't make money at this thing, you know. Well, no, oh, we, Warner we and top. And we do it because we enjoy it. I we need these games on. These are kids that deserve to be on, and uh, that's real nice. Uh, Bone Green with it. Bone Green. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. You didn't even get it. And then I, 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 I didn't realize, I got it, I got I didn't realize you pointed out to me, and I feel I really should be doing that. It is his name, and it, it's a good name. And, and But I, he's uh, like their all-star, you know? Yeah, well, he is. He's their top scorer. He's good you know, he probably player. has a 68 GTO, and, you know. and oh, yeah. Wow. His haircut does look like something from the 70s. Yeah, Warner had a nice block there. They get it into Reynolds again. Oh, that's, way that's way short. What was that? I, I think <laughs> I want to say it was blocked, but it wasn't. It wasn't even blocked, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like five feet short of the basket. Oh, uh, inside? Oh, he walked. Uh oh, oh Delvin scores. So a good ball movement, good passing. <laughs> finds a gap in the Rossford defense, and Delta finally gets on the board Boy, again. 18 that. to 7, under five minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, Freeman, that was Gabe Freeman that's, with it. And, that's uh, that's uh, eight minutes since they that's scored. a lot eight of minutes. time. Eight minutes, over eight minutes. Well, you just look at what this team, uh, the Bulldogs, have been able to do. Well, and you, when you got that many people that can handle the ball, it, yeah. and, and Delta just doesn't have that. Well, I don't know. There you go. They're just... Yeah, they missed again. Ahmad Smith with it. He comes in all the way in and out. Oh. And... Uh, Oh, Brady Weimer. Push. Wow. Ahmad Smith gets pushed, but, or not Ahmad Smith. Um, Zach, um, Shaman Smith, guys, gets pushed. Ahmad Smith, I think I'm watching Lake. What do you think about Lake losing to Gibsonburg? Did you know that while you were in the hospital? No, I, I Gibsonburg beat that. Lake. Wow. Yeah, it's That was last night. <laughs> that was last night, yes. Here. Here. I yes. didn't, yeah. Yeah. That's not as big a surprise as you want to think. No, because no, no. Gibsonburg has been a really well, Brett, this guy's teams always Brett, get better. Oh, yeah, always yep. get better. And we saw him early in the year, but they always improve. He's just a great coach. Right. And he does have some very good ball players. Ross was now going cold. Three. Ross was yeah. going very cold. And that was an iffy three. He didn't need that. 325 left to go here in the second quarter. Oh, we're just not seeing any score in this game. 18 to 7. First half, over three minutes to go. Green drives, nothing there. Green gets a little upset. This guy didn't do what he was supposed to do. Green's going to pop a three. In and out. Warner with the rebound. They get out to Jack Jackson's. And he's going to, oh, I thought he was going to take it in. And they're going to move that ball around. Reynolds is going to drive. 
doing what a number four does. Puts it no. He goes. He finishes that one off. 6'4", junior Cam Reynolds puts it Rossford up 20 to seven. You know, I've been watching Cam since he's a freshman, and he's he's just in the last few weeks really start, starting to blossom. Good, good stuff. Got to be three seconds. They're going to call a foul. Yeah, Brady Weimer goes up inside, and he's fouled, gets in the paint. Nice pass from Bowen Green to uh, Weimer, finds him open the paint. Weimer's guarded by a couple guys, but still manages to get the ball up and get fouled. He'll shoot two. Weimer misses the first, still 20 to seven. And they're not in the in the bracket. They weren't that bad in the bracket, were they? I mean, tell to um, yeah. I, Truman's asking about appearance fees for the defending champs. Oh, he wants he wants his uh, five dollar league dues waived. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's up to Derek Sattler, our league treasurer. I <laughs> right? like to present that to him. All the way to the hole. There you go. Nice shot. <laughs> Weimer takes it all the way to the hole. Good job for Delta. Gets them into double figures. Still 10 point game. 20 to 10. Oh, he wants paid an appearance fee. Is that what he wants? Oh. He thinks he's got. I think he wants a he, red carpet. Since he already out. won a championship, he thinks he's got certain yeah, rights. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. Red carpet treatment. And yeah. Uh, so he's going to. He's going to like get on social media and tell nice. everybody where he. Warner strong inside. He just uh, hasn't been able to make it happen. Yeah, that's twice he's done that. Bowen Green's bringing it back. And, uh, able to score. And he's getting there. They're just not falling tonight, Pat. I think, I think Rossford could be playing better, too, especially yep. Gabe this Green, quarter. They get it inside. This quarter, they have not played well. Oh, my goodness. Snyder three times didn't make it happen. He's going to try four. No. Nope. Looks like Weimer for three. It's about two and a half. Weimer again, foul. Yeah. Lucas Warner needs to grab that ball. He had the rebound, he got away from him. The 6'6 senior just ends up committing the foul. They don't want to lose him. I mean, if Delta gets back in this game, they're only 10 down now as we get near the end of the half. Nice shot. Brady Weimer hits the first nine point game with a minute 17 remaining in the first half. And Weimer's got another one coming. Makes gets that one too. This game, uh, Rossford's lead is starting to disappear. Their offense is getting a little bit pathetic. Needs to, they, oh, they need to start uh, keying in a little bit better on offense and making some baskets. I think what you're seeing so far here is um, it's just two completely different styles of basketball. And uh, the run and gun of the Bulldogs and uh, Delta really wants to control the offense on their end. And they haven't been able to, but they're, they're getting a lot better at it right here. Yeah, they are. There wow. you go. Now it's a five point game. Beautiful shot right there. Freeman, Gabe Freeman for a three-pointer. Great crowd here tonight at uh, Bowser. Jagosinski's gonna take a shot. Flat. And once again, Delta gets it. They're gonna move things around with nine seconds left to go here in the second half, or second quarter. <laughs> Didn't get it off, didn't get it off. Uh, 20 to 15. Pat, uh, everything kind of changed there in the last two and a half minutes. Uh, yeah, that game got ugly fast. Rossford was looking real good. They had a stretch where their offense was just clicking and then all of a sudden, it just, all of a sudden they just struggled on offense and it wasn't anything different than Delta was doing. Was just Rossford not executing. Exactly, it was all execution, I agree. We come back, we'll uh, have the uh, second half of this game. Don't forget, Genoa's coming up here in just a bit. 2015's our score right now, right here on the Toledo Sports Network.
at Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. We're the people at Nika. When it comes to electrical work, you want to make sure it's done right the first time. NECA contractors employ the most highly trained and reliable workforce in the industry, which means quality and safety. We can help you get the job done on time and on budget. The right connection you need. We're the people at NECA. People with the right connection. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Benches Greenhouse and Nursery in Elmore, Ohio is a proud sponsor of Northwest Ohio Athletics. Our spacious greenhouse area has what you need for your outdoor beautification projects. With great specials and those hard to find plants, shrubs and trees, Benches Greenhouse and Nursery takes the guesswork out of planning and maintaining your favorite garden and more. Benches Greenhouse and Nursery. Call them today, 419-862-3596. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's, 419-698-1641. Tires play an important role in your vehicle's handling, comfort, and fuel efficiency. So when it comes to maintaining them, you need a name you can trust. At Dan Ars Automotive, our expert staff will help you find the perfect tires to keep your vehicle at peak performance. We have a huge selection of top brand tires for you to choose from. Having issues with your tires? We'll diagnose the problem and get you back on the road. Visit Dan Ars Automotive today for tires from a name you can trust. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement cancer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive's parts and accessories number one store. 
your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Wabridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. A rewarding career begins with an apprenticeship in the piping industry. Our state-of-the-art training facility, combined with on-the-job training side-by-side -side with a journeyman, delivers the experience needed to become a professional plumber, steam fitter, or HVAC service mechanic. Avoid costly tuitions and student loans. Earn a competitive wage and college credit in an exciting trade. We are the Northwest Ohio piping industry, building the future through dedication, knowledge, and expertise. Hey, it's Bob Francer. Your club's cleaned up and ready to go. Then let's talk about Brandywine, the only all-inclusive private country club in Northwest Ohio. You know, people are always taking all-inclusive vacations to save money. Well, at Brandywine, you're on a constant all-inclusive vacation. Unlimited golf, cart, pool, fitness, and all the social events, including the amazing pool parties. It's so refreshing to play a private club where there's no surprises. The new Brandywine Country Club featuring 18 holes of Arthur Hills Design Championship Golf on a layout that is spectacular. Par 72 now, three par fives on the front nine total yardage of 6639 a challenge for great golfers but fun and playable for the rest of us too and one of the best things about joining the all-inclusive private brandywine club is that you never have to wait for leagues to get out of your way because there's only one league at brandywine yours and don't forget about the amazing restaurant champions bar and grill reopened in the summer of last year and is now open to the public call 419-865-2393 for all the details and if you join by may 31st they'll waive the initiation fee join me on the course and at the club this year at the all-new all-inclusive brandywine country club There is only one place where you'll find scenic golf at affordable prices. Fallen Timbers Fairways. This golf course offers some of the best golf in Northwest Ohio for any skill level. At Fallen Timbers, they can help you plan for your next outing or event, or even improve your skills with their talented golf instructors. With their exceptional rates, Fallen Timbers is your first choice for great golf. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Easy to find, fun to play, right off Route 24 in Waterville. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Fallen Timbers Fairways. Ready to start the uh, third quarter. I'm looking here. I'm I, I'm looking at some. It looked like uh, <clears throat> we disconnected here for a second or six. Reconnected. So let me know if we disconnected. At this point, the only sponsor that's going to be mad is me. <laughs> <laughs> 20 to 15 is our scores already start the third quarter here. Delta along with Rossford trying to play a basketball game. Yeah, we just haven't like, found like, one. It's like both these teams are trying. Yeah. Rossford was playing for a while, then they stopped. Delta has had a couple minutes where they played some basketball, and that was it. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not real impressed with the play of either team as a whole, although Rossford had a spurt there. Where they looked really good, and I, I can't imagine Coach Vorce was happy with the way they finished up that first half after leading 20 to yeah they had eight at one bunch. point yeah 12 points now it's 20 to 15 Delta scored the last 10 points of the half and Rossford's offense is just going stagnant. And there's a nice pick. Oh, nice block by Sloan. Yeah, it was a nice pick by uh, Delta though to get him open. Yeah, Schneider got all the way oh, he in. He traveled. But... Yeah. Nothing happened there. Yeah, see, I, it's just stupid mistakes. I hate to use that word, but it's a couple of them here already just to start off the second half. Rossford going back to press. Maybe that'll get his team. Well, the one thing, Delta's, their ball handling is 
a little bit on the iffy side. Same play, got it this time. You know, Snyder. Now we have a three, three point game. Rossford's gonna let this get away from him. They're not careful. It looked like they had this game well in hand real quick and just uh, kind of playing down to Delta's level here a little bit. Smith puts one in for the Rossford Bulldogs. 15 foot jumper. Puts Rossford up by five. Yeah, Snyder's basically taking this team on his back right here. Weimer. There's a three. There's a foul down at this end. It looks like it's going to go against Rosford. Yeah, it looks like Jack, Jack Zinski. Nice inside move there. Yeah, Bowen Green. On the baseline, almost scored. Bowen's decided he's taking Sloan on, and he backs off. A little floater didn't work. Sloan comes down the rebound. Boy, Rossford needs to kick their offense in gear. Nice look on a jumper, but he can't finish it. Yeah, and that's his shot right there too, Pat. Yeah, they've been missing uh, some key outside shots, which I think they, you know, easily makeable for him. Snyder, they get over to, uh, is that Freeman? Yeah. Back to Snyder. Snyder up on the left-hand side. Bottom of the key. Trying to get it into green inside, not gonna happen. Seth Burns too. They're trying to work some something out with, but it's just not, just nothing there. Green trying to make things happen, not gonna be. Green gets it, puts it in. And he's, he's, Bowen Green is, is good at finishing those up inside, and he played that long uh, baseline three perfectly. Certainly. On your side of the rim, that's right where you want to be. 22 19 is our score, 525 left in the third. Toledo's Delta doing some things well, and Rossford just looking kind of stupefied at times. Yeah, they're just not, they're their, not playing Their offense seems cylinders. to be clicking. They got the opportunity here to. Put up some points and they're not doing it. Reynolds puts a three, misses. Jagosinski takes one, he misses. Smith with another rebound. Inside to Perry. Cam takes it to the hole. Count it. Count it. Cam Reynolds, 6'4 junior. My boy. Yeah, puts Rosser back up by five. Oh, up. Oh. Inside out, Weimer again, missed again. Boy, I don't know, it looked like, it looked like uh, Zach Perry might have been fouled there, but trying to retrieve that rebound. He's leaving the game anyhow right now. Four forty-one left to go here in the third. Bowen Green takes a little hook shot, misses. They tap it back out. <laughs> Like a volleyball game. Yeah. We're getting back to the first quarter here again. Inside Smith. And there you go. Smith guys in the feed from Peyton Sloan. Puts Rosser back up by seven. Just over four minutes to go in the third. This game moving along. We only have one team foul this half. Oh, oh uh, there's, a, there's Rossford's ball. Steal. Yeah, Gabe Freeman. Will by Cam uh, Reynolds. And he gets foul. pushed out of bounds. That's a foul. Yep. First team foul on Delta, four minutes into the third quarter. Not a lot of fouls in the first half either, Pat. Not at all. No, there weren't. There weren't. Neither team got to the bonus. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, the way we're going, we're not going to get there either unless it's a close game, which uh, then you're going to see it probably happen. Oh, geez, Smith guy just, just. Uh, we missed something. Something went on. I don't know what happened down I don't there. either. Yeah, I, I just couldn't believe that pass. Just, you should put that on the floor. Oh. Bowen just got kind of put on the floor, and he gets it again. And I'm seeing some traveling calls that wow. could be called here. Bowen and Smith are just kind of going at it inside there. And uh, finally, 
Rossford gets it, gives it out to Jagosinski. Smith's going to take the shot, misses, foul. That's inside, that'll be on the floor, on the rebound. Goes against Delta. Whistled against Gabe Freeman, the six foot senior guard. It's only the second on Delta. We're a long way from either team getting to the bonus. Three, over three minutes to go in the third quarter. 26-19. Jagosinski's gonna take it the long way and bring it back up. Why not? <coughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Warner inside, or actually outside. Get it out to uh, Sloan. Sloan drives and get it over to Jagosinski. He goes all the way, nothing. Over to Reynolds, top of the key, nothing short. He's all of a sudden short. Well, he's had that all night, yeah, and he just gets him to sink it. Brady Weimer with it. And uh, that little eight foot jumper in the paint, and he just can't make it. Schneider gets it back out to uh, Freeman. There's a foul on Smith, guys. So you saw that coming. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, Smith. Are you? Wow, technical foul on Smith. Hmm. I don't know who was, who was uh, doing that. Was, I, I don't know who was going to John there. I, John was going the other way. I saw the John going the other way, too. I don't know. Oh, they gave him to both. Well, so they've been going. That's why I think everybody in the stands have been going crazy because those yeah. two have been going at well, it. There's been a lot of that hard. going on this game. Really chippy out there. So now I guess when you have a double technical, you don't uh, you don't shoot. So boy, the things I learned hanging around with you. Well, you know, they, they change the rules every year. We got some rule changes in high school basketball coming, some big ones, I, I guarantee, in the next few years. I'm seeing possibly nine minute quarters. Uh, there's a couple other ones that they're talking about, the National Federation level. May not happen real soon or in the next year or two, but uh -huh. they've been talking about. And that includes a shot clock. I don't know if that'll yeah. ever really happen. Uh, Schneider got caught up down low and uh, lost the ball. <coughs> For Delta, 26-19 right now. The uh, Bulldogs on top with 2.10 left to go in here in the third quarter. Mike Jamison and Pat Eakin, so happy to be here. Really, trust me, I am so happy to be here. <laughs> I, I am so happy to be here, too, and I wouldn't be if and you weren't doing well and through your surgery, and it's nice being here, Mike. And Bring that mic up. I, I can't appreciate hear you. you calling me and being here. And well, Pat, you're you the called man. me from the hospital this morning. Yes, I did. Boy, this is just a, a little scoring, ugly game. Yeah, this is an interesting game. This is it's one of them games. This is kind of like a this is like a goulash game. A little bit of everything. And you know, it probably wouldn't taste good apart, but if you put it all together, it'd be pretty good. Delta's got it right now, and uh, Weimer has it up at the top of the key. They're going to move it over to Schneider on the right side. Weimer's going to get it again. Over to Freeman. Yeah, just, oh. Wow. That was the right call. You think? Yeah, I think so. All right, I think that uh, yeah, he, was, he was there waiting for him. And I think there was a foul before that, though. It caught his arm. You might be right there, though, too. That's what I was. You might be right yeah. there, though, too, yes. Yeah, Weimer got the foul uh, offensive. I, I don't know. You get it, uh, Gadsden's got it. He's going to take a three. Got, got it. it. Finally. Cameron Gadsden! Only gave two points on that, though. Must, must be on the line. Oh, right at the top of the perimeter, though. 28-19's our score with 20 or 53 seconds. That's all you gotta do. There you go, and that's Seth Burris, 6'3", Junior Ford. 
Working his way into the paint and scoring for Delta. Hey, it's there. You just have to be patient, yeah. and you have to be able to find what you can make happen, and that's that was good. Gadsden's got it and gets it into Perry. Perry. He's fouled. Yep. And now we are getting closer to the bonus situation. Got Jason Williams up there on camera. He's doing a pretty good job. Pretty good guy. Uh-oh, Sloan gets it and he... Well, how much of that are we seeing tonight? Yeah, I've seen a lot of just stealing. Just not taking care of the ball well. And that's what it is. It's not that the steals are there. It's just not being not, taken not care taking of. Not taking care of the ball well. Yep. Just, just not well protecting the ball when you're handling the ball or passing the ball. Just some, uh, you know, a team like Genoa just eat this up, you know. Smith's back in for Rossford. By the way, the Genoa Comets sitting right behind us watching this game. Very much watching. Schneider inside, a little looper, didn't they, make they get, it. They get the winner if they can beat Northwood in the following game tonight. Perry, Perry with the uh, rebound, gets it over to Gadsden. Didn't get it off in time. Well, score at the end of three, 28-21. Rossford is on top of Delta in uh, sectional basketball. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Dumped it twice, three times. Now we're ready to start the fourth quarter here. We just had everything dump over, so. Twenty-eight, twenty-one's our score. Seven forty-six. Guys, everything just fell down. Oh, Men, oh. Mental no, we're not going to. There's a nice block by Warner, 6'6", six, six, just playing good defense and retrieving the ball. Inside again, just couldn't make it uh, happen. Just, I don't know what it is. I think, the, I think the rims are screwed too tight tonight, Mike. Nice. There they go, but oh. they got to make time. There you go again. Wow. Oh, yeah. Schneider over the top got that off Perry. Yeah, nice rebound. Just, boy, he got up there too. Schneider, Elliot oh, Schneider got way up there for a 6-1 guard, just showing his leaping ability. Nothing. Oh, back and forth, but nobody can find the hoop. Boy, been that way all night. Boy, been that way all night. We're over a minute in the fourth quarter. No, no score yet this quarter. Delta still just down by seven, still very much a ball game. Fourth quarter, just under seven minutes to play. And and a ball. ball stuffed by Warner. Weimer Lim and Warner went at it. That's a second block inside of a minute. You know, I, I like that play they did a couple of times before where they got in there and everybody kind of got clogged up and they bounced past it in to get the score. That's the only way they're going to get that in there. Well, Warner's out of the game now. See if they try to take it inside now. Boy. Boy, it's like a lid on this basket. 
Freeman once again with a miss, and uh, Rossford gets it. Smith dishes out to Cam there Reynolds. Go. Cam Reynolds gets the first basket of the fourth quarter, and we're two minutes into the fourth quarter. Puts Rossford up 30 to 21. Six minutes to go in the game. Doing too much. Yeah. Bowen Green trying oh. to get too much done there. And uh, boy, just uh, Sloan missed it on yeah. the other end. That'll work for you. Jeez. Still not can't make it. Yeah, wow. Delta finally gets on the board. Basket by Brady Weimer. Brings Delta back within seven. Gee. Everything's short. Just uh, these teams just not able to connect here. Just ugly. Ugly shooting tonight. And Brady Weimer will go to the mass, go to the uh, foul line now. Shoot two. Could bring Delta within five. Over five minutes to go here in the game. So still very much a ball game. Delta looking for their eighth win of the season. Ross were looking for their ninth. Sometimes you wonder how they got those wins the way they're playing tonight. One of them nights. Second one's up. Got it. Gadsden with it for the Bulldogs. Looking for what's going to happen. He's taking it. They, they want him to get there. I don't like that pass No, tonight. he's trying to do too much. He's trying to be fancy, and he needs to just play basketball. Yeah, that pass has just He's turning the ball over, level, just trying to do too much. Trying to press somebody, I don't know who. We think there's a college scout here or what, but. And now, th oh, there's a loose ball that somebody should have got. Yeah. Delta ball right here, 457 left to go in this contest. 30-24, six-point game. I don't think either team wants to win this game. I, I really don't think either team wants to I win. I just think it's just one <laughs> ugly basketball game. This is this has been a rough one. Hard to watch at times. Another steal, Jagosinski with it. Each team's got to be at 20 turnovers. No, you don't need it. Move the ball around. There you go. Now we move the ball around, get your offense set, run a play. And give it to Reynolds. Yeah. And he's done that all night. There's one thing they're doing well on offense. Cam Reynolds, baseline drive, getting in the paint and scoring. Delta moving things around here now. Freeman looks inside to Green. Every time kids walk up these, <laughs> I'm afraid everything's going to fall down. Don't forget, we'll have the uh, Genoa Northwood game here in uh, just about a uh, half hour or so. And a nice inside move there, Freeman. Back to a six point game with four minutes remaining. There you go. That was nice. Cameron Gaston seeing an open lane, just takes it. That's smart basketball by the freshman right there. <laughs> oh, another steal by the. Uh, Oh. Just can't finish this. Yeah, Jagosinski got the steal, just couldn't finish. Eight point game. Delta still very much alive. Three and a half minutes to go. Snyder's got it. He's going to go all the way in. Short, ungodly short. That's right. Ball's going back ball. the other way. <laughs> Seth Burns. Hmm. Now, between games, we're going to shut our server down and uh, reboot it uh, about uh, five minutes before the game starts. We got uh, our first timeout. First TV timeout of the game. <laughs> first TV timeout. I love it. Hey, we'll be right back with more of this right here on the Toledo Sports Network. A rewarding career begins with an apprenticeship in the piping industry. Our state-of-the-art training facility, combined with on-the-job training side-by-side -side with a journeyman, delivers the experience needed to become a professional plumber, steam fitter, or HVAC service mechanic. 
Avoid costly tuitions and student loans. Earn a competitive wage and college credit in an exciting trade. We are the Northwest Ohio Piping Industry, building the future through dedication, knowledge, and expertise. 329 left to go in this contest. Division three sectional basketball, 26-34. Uh, Rossford's on top. Northwood's making their way into the game field right now. Warner gets the uh, rebound off of Cam Gadsden's shot. He spins around, gets it out to uh, Perry. Jagosinski, nothing, nothing. Looking it down, looking it down. Yes, You're no, at three smart, minutes now. But this, is, this, is, this is probably a good decision by Rossford to kind of take the air out of the ball a yep. little bit. As long as they can handle it, they're a much better ball handling team than Delta from what I've seen, so. Nice move, Perry inside. He scores. Nice move into the paint. That's what you want, it's a minute off the clock and then a nice setup like that. We got a foul. Lucas Warner. Who's up there, Sam? Or is that Seth Burns is up? First one is up and slides it in nicely. Two and a half minutes to go and Seth Burns has a chance to 6-3 junior to cut this to eight points and keep Delta in this game yet. We're gonna need a, a late game run, some, some heroics to Got him in. finish this off. Delta now putting some full court pressure on. I think that's gonna be a mistake. <laughs> well, it's gonna speed the playoff. Probably. Yes, it sure will. Which is which is one thing they, they do need. Well, they need to once At again take one minute off the clock and then do whatever it is you're gonna do. And I think that's what they're gonna do. Right now, uh, Bulldogs are just moving the ball around. Gadsden shot and Two beauty. Scores. Cameron Gaston puts Rossford up by, back by 10. Two minutes remaining. There's a foul on someone, I don't know who. Looks like it's against Delta. It's on Weimer. Player control foul on Weimer with the elbow. I'll tell you what, they've been getting chippy. They've been hitting each it's other pretty chippy. hard. It's been chippy out there, no doubt about it. <laughs> Cameron Gaston fouled on top. And he will be shooting a one on one now. We'll put gas into the line. Looks like uh, Delta, Delta's putting some of the youngins in right now. Boy, 10 points, I don't know. I, I'd hang in there. I know. There's not a lot of confidence in the team right now. Yeah, 149 left in this contest. Gaston hits the first. <laughs> Potentially your last game of the year. He's trying to build a program and he probably wants to get those younger guys some, some playing time. You gotta remember last year they just had one win. They had seven right. this year, so that at least is a is a move forward with the program. Well, you know, the the these these things happen all year round. These guys gotta be out in the playing basketball all year round, and uh, and uh, Bulldogs are bringing in some of the youngins too. Yeah, yeah, as a coach, you gotta instill that mentality that that's the way it is nowadays. If you want to compete, you're right, and be the best. That's what you gotta do. 40-28 is our score right now, and. Uh, Crossford is on top with 134 left. Like this, you want your guys playing three sports too. You don't want them 
So it doesn't mean they can't be playing basketball in the summer. I 100% agree with you, but I don't think that's the mentality now. It's not realistic sometimes, no, unfortunately. I think, you, I think you're right. I think the kids should be playing everything. But... Uh, yes, that uh, was another steal. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, that would have been nice to Deweese, a little uh, yeah. flipper in. <laughs> everybody, everybody out here now wants to score, buddy. There's the first there three. Go. Cody Pelton, 5'9", senior guard, hits the three, top of the key for Delta. Yeah, it's still a nine-point game with over a minute to play. Roster's going to take a timeout. We'll stay right here. Don't forget, uh, you know a game coming up here. And uh, about, uh, what, 15, 20 minutes? Oh, I got the uh, Allen Miller Jewelers all press girls basketball team nominations coming up. Yeah, you got you to gotta vote. I you guarantee vote, you. Mike. You can do it tonight. I will. I will. I will. I will. It'll be I'll done tonight. Get one tonight. to Jay. Hey, Jay. Get one to Jay, can you? Jay Williams. Fifty-one seconds in this contest. Looks like uh, Rossford will be heading off to play either Northwood or Genoa. We'll find that out here in about an hour. So, Mike, what you do is you pick a first team five, second team five players, and a third team five players. Gotcha. Rossford still hanging on by nine. You know, he got all subs in a nine-point game. Tight enough game that a lot of coaches would still be playing this down to the wire, but I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised, but you know now we're down to 20 seconds. And Rossford taking the ball, uh, you know, definitely uh, Rossford a good ball handling team. This one's going to wrap up here. 40-31 is our final. Forty thirty one. Rossford takes the uh, first game of our sectionals here tonight. Actually, last night was the first game of sectionals. Right. And Gibsonburg beat Lake, and uh, so we'll uh, have the uh, games to our uh, Friday night, right? Right. Yeah, we'll be here Friday night for that. Folks, well, stick around. Uh, Pat, what are your final thoughts? You know. Kind of ugly at times, but you know, Rossford at times looked brilliant too. Yeah, I yep, don't yep. think they played a full 32 minutes of solid basketball, but there was a good solid 16 in there somewhere, enough to keep Delta at bay. And you know, they did, they showed some ball handling skills. I think at times they tried to do too much. They could have won this game by 20, really. Oh, yeah. They probably should have. Uh, Delta, a good team, uh, improving. The program is getting better. They're, they know how to be physical inside. Um, these are it's just a program needs to grow up a little bit, and I have no doubt under Ron Rouleau that that's going to happen. Well, fantastic. Well, folks, stick around just a little bit. We'll, uh, we're about 36 minutes away from the Genoa uh, Northwood game, and uh, we'll have that for you right here on Toledo Sports Network. Your final once again tonight, Rossford takes the win, 40-31, and uh, we'll be back in just a little bit. <laughs> 